thumbs up when we are starting hmm? Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Greetings and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And welcome to the 100 days of Thanksgiving. Welcome to day 72. Thank you for joining with us and partnering with us and giving this time to the Lord. And we surely do know and believe that the Lord honors this time and He will bless each and every one of us as we seek His holy face today. And the word of the Lord says in the Psalms, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall ascend his holy hill and uh, look upon his holy temple? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. And Holy Father, we come before you today and we pray, O oh Father, that uh, you accept our worship to you, O oh Father, as a sweet uh, sacrifice, O oh Father, and as a sweet incense before you, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh Father, that you cleanse us, O oh Father, forgive us sin and make us worthy to stand before you today. We offer this time into your hands, O Lord. And we remember, O oh Father, your goodness to us. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing love.
and lead us, lead us, O oh Holy Spirit of God, into all truth. Thank you, Father God, for your people and for this time, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh Father, that during this time, as we meditate upon your holy word, O oh Father, you will lead us, O oh Father, among green pastures and guide us to still waters, that you restore our soul and that you guide us along the path of righteousness for your great name's sake, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus, that we rest secure in you, O oh Father. That your rod and staff comfort us, O oh Father, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for you are with us. Emmanuel, you have never left us, nor have you forsaken us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We surrender this time into your hands. In Jesus' holy, mighty, and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. We pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord enable us to receive and listen to his holy word today.
Praise the Lord once again, dear brothers and sisters. We are glad that you are here with us. And thank you for tuning in to the 100 days of Thanksgiving. We are so thankful to the Lord that he has brought us this far, that he has sustained us and brought us all the way to day 72. And we do know that he is faithful to fulfill every word of his promise to us. And he will lead us right unto day 100. And we will see great deliverance. We will see breakthrough. And we will see the fulfillment of the promises of the Lord that he has for us in this due season. It will be brought in to completion as appointed by the holy will of God. Amen and amen. Thank you for tuning in once again. We are glad that you are here. And dear brother, dear sister, the Lord loves you with an everlasting love. And even before we could love the Lord, while we were in this world, dead in our transgresses and haters of God and children of wrath, he still loved us. And because of his great love for us, he rescued us and set our feet upon the rock. And he has set us as co heirs with Christ Jesus in the heavenly realms, far above all the powers of darkness and the powers and schemes of man and the things of the flesh and the things that perish. As we wait for a new heaven and a new earth and as we wait for the return of our Lord in this season that many call Advent and as we see the times and seasons changing and as we see the ushering of a new uh, revival for the church and as we see the ushering and, and the raising up of many new men and women of God who will take the place of so many before us, nameless, faceless people who have dared to call upon the name of the Lord, to hearken to His voice and to receive His holy word and shine His light to the nations, amen and amen. And during this time, dear brother and sister, we thank the Lord that we are alive thus far. We thank the Lord for His provision. We thank the Lord for His grace and mercy that knows no end and no bound. And we thank the Lord that it is His nature to be good. It is His very nature to be faithful. And He calls us to put on this new nature, to put on the new garment, the righteousness that is Christ Jesus. He calls us to cast off our filthy rags. And we see in the book of Revelation, He calls the saints to wash their robes by the commandment set by the Lord Jesus so that they may partake of the tree of life and live in the new Jerusalem, in the new heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus, that you have made a way for us where there is no way, O oh Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your holy word. Today's verse for meditation is from Psalm 51. I read from Psalm 51, verse 12. Once again, I say Psalm 51, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Amen and amen. I will read it once again. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Dear brothers and sisters, this psalm was written, uh, it says right here before we start reading the psalm, uh, for the director of music, a psalm of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. This is a psalm of repentance. This is a psalm of the cry of the heart of a penitent sinner before the Lord. And the faithfulness of the Lord to hear the cry of this King David who was blessed and anointed to serve as a king before the Lord, to serve as king for the children of Israel who had been corrupted by the vain glory and the power that he had received from his flesh. I am the king, therefore I can do all things. I am the king, therefore I can receive my heart's desire. I am the king, therefore my law and statute is absolute for my people. I am the king, therefore I cannot be questioned. I am the king, therefore whatever I do will find favor in the eyes of the Lord because it is the Lord himself who has appointed me. A lot of us here today and many of us in our walk of faith, myself, yourself and everyone who lives in this flesh will know this experience of putting our flesh first, of putting our knowledge that perishes first against the knowledge of God, against the will of God and falling into the meticulous trap set by Satan who is as old as time itself and from the beginning has been a liar and a deceiver, and who stands in the courts of heaven to accuse the children of the Lord. We see this not only in the book of Job, we also see this in the book of Zechariah, 
in the vision of the prophet and we also see this in the book of revelation the role of satan he is not right in hell he is not here upon the earth but he is also in the courts of heaven to accuse the children of the lord before the lord and this is what happens when we as children of god succumb to the ways of the flesh to the ways of the perishing and to the ways of false knowledge when we think that we are standing we must be careful it is not warned just in the old testament but also in the new testament the apostle paul will say for those of you for he who thinks that he is standing firmly let him think clearly and also in the prophet isaiah if you do not stand firm in your faith you will not stand at all praise the lord may we receive this word from the lord heavenly father teach us not to rely on our own flesh teach us to rely on you o father because you are our strength you are our shield o father you are our help and you are the lifter of our head david knew that he had sinned in the presence of the lord because it was brought to light in his flesh he thought whatever he was doing was fine at least that is what it appears to be when it, when we read it he had gone so far to plot the murder of the wife uh, of the husband i beg your pardon of batsheba a trusted soldier in his army uria and then he had taken batsheba for himself and even found out that she was with child and then the lord sent the prophet nathan to bring righteous judgment upon david and note this the lord did not strip away the kingship of david but pinpointed his sin this is the heart of our father god to not reject the kingship and the blessing and the inheritance that he has given to his child of promise but to reject the unholiness that is carried within him praise the lord this is the same way that the lord looks at us today i do believe dear brothers and sisters firmly that the lord had placed upon my heart earlier this evening that as christians we have a very skewed concept of the word new and the word renewed many of us think that the word new means we will throw away the old and get something completely new that the lord will completely cast away the old mindset and somehow replace it or bring in a new mindset it might be true but some of us think it's like changing phones right i don't like this phone i chuck it out and i get a new phone and this is how i'm going to operate and everything is a use and throw culture and every time i fall away from the grace of god i can always throw it away toss it aside and gain something else and operate in the slippery slope and live my life somehow not fully operating not in the fullness of what god has called me to do praise god may the lord shine the light of his revelation and the light of his truth into our hearts and may we receive it his words which are spirit and life may it cut us to the heart in jesus mighty name amen and amen dear brothers and sisters the lord is a god who renews and he is a god who restores amen amen even though our righteousness is counted as filthy rags even though we are stained with the uh, stain of sin and even though we will never be perfect the lord has made us in his image and likeness and he has made us in the spirit when we receive our baptism when we accept that he is our lord and savior we are regenerated there through baptism in the spirit in the substance of god and he who is born of god cannot continue to sin amen and amen and the lord calls us even when we stumble in sin to be purified to be refined through the fire to take ourselves and submit ourselves in obedience which will definitely be much more than just a thorn in our side we might go weeping we might go famished we might go with great pain in our heart but if what we are doing is true dear brothers and sisters the lord is faithful to restore us he cleanses us and makes us in the way that he has destined us to be amen and amen dear brother and sister if you believe that you are made in the image and likeness of god that the holy spirit of god dwells in you why would he cast it away and put it back why would he exchange something that he has already given you in fullness be set free from this deception dear brother and sister in the mighty name of jesus that you who have the holy spirit alive and active in you when we sin we grieve the holy spirit of the lord and that the holy spirit is still there 
he is not like the old covenant where his glory departs he is definitely here but we cannot receive the fullness of what god has called us to receive in christ jesus dear brothers and sisters if any of us has fallen short in our sin may we make a bold confession as david had claimed to boldly make in the presence of not just the prophet nathan but boldly declare it in a psalm that we can read till today that although he is a king although he has done great things although he is the appointed of the lord although he carries the promise of the lord and although he is the king of israel that uh, carries the bloodline of the messiah and all the promises of god rest upon him he has fallen short of the glory of god in his own nature in his old human nature in his flesh in his own thinking and he needs the lord to restore him praise the lord he did not ask the lord to rebuke his kingship he did not ask the lord to take away his life but he admitted his sin before the lord and he asked the lord to deliver him to set him free and for him to live rightly in the presence of the lord may the lord restore us in the name of jesus amen and he admits in his psalm i know my transgressions my sin is always before me this is the mind of a man who wants to repent but has not yet made the repentance dear brothers and sisters the lord jesus christ himself when he began his mission he said repent and believe in the good news today the gospel simply says to us believe in the good news many people do not call for repentance we call for new life in jesus but we do not call to leave aside our own ways we call to receive the blessings of god but we are not called to give up this earthly life that perishes and is a thorn in our side and distracts us from this kingdom of god and the word of god warns us if there is any gospel contrary to the gospel that is being taught to you even if it is revealed somehow by an angel pay no heed to it dear brother and sister may the word of god guide you the way it guides me and the way it guides so many other people who are called to walk and live in the lord jesus amen the same way the holy spirit speaks to your brother and sister he will reveal it to you this word is alive and active sharper than a two edged sword it will reveal itself to you and it will show us the path to repentance and for salvation behold today the hour of salvation is at hand hallelujah thank you jesus david says against you you only have i sinned and done what is evil in your sight so you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge dear brothers and sisters some of us most of us all of us sin against other people and do not ask the lord for his forgiveness we do correct ourselves with our brother and sister sometimes but do not seek the lord's repentance and his mercy upon us conversely we can also ask the lord for forgiveness for the dirty acts and shameful things that we have committed but do not make peace and do not repent with our brother and sister dear brother and sister may the lord deliver all of us in jesus name that if we are in the image and likeness of his son the lord jesus christ when we converse with a fellow believer when we co- converse with a fellow human being and when we have rifts and tiffs we are also conversing with people who are made in the image and likeness of god whether they are saved or unsaved the lord has created mankind and wishes that all of mankind is redeemed unto himself the word of god also says that if we are going to present our offering to god let us first go and make peace with our brother before we do this may the lord accept our repentance as holy and uh, may may the lord accept uh, our contrite and broken heart that he will not spurn as we forgive our neighbor in jesus name amen surely i was sinful at birth sinful from the time my mother conceived me king david accepts the fallen nature of humanity yet please dear brother and sister if you are Uh, determining or thinking that you want to be born again that you want to receive baptism if you have received the baptism you are a believer and you are struggling in your walk with Christ or if you are a believer you are a disciple you are doing great we still need to be aware of this if we are called and set apart and if we claim to be born again we have to receive our instruction from the lord in the secret place amen the lord gives us his instruction in the secret place dear brothers and sisters this is our invitation for a time of prayer for a time of worship to walk with the lord to shut the door and to pray to our heavenly father in secret and he will give to us these instructions and he will knit us together and he will mold us into the image that he calls us to be 
Amen. May we receive this word from the Lord. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me, Lord, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sin and blot out all my iniquity. Dear brother and sister, these words of the Lord are spirit and life to us. The Lord is faithful to purify us and to make us clean if only we admit our brokenness before him and the sacrifice of your son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Amen. May we cast aside these calloused hearts of stone. May we cast aside these hardened ears that cannot heed the voice of the Lord. The word of the Lord says, Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Jesus says to Zacchaeus, Oh, that today salvation has come into this house. Behold, dear brother, dear sister, the hour of repentance, the hour of being made new, the hour of receiving the Holy Spirit and the hour of salvation is at hand. It is nigh. It is today. Dear brother and sister, do not procrastinate. Do not wait for tomorrow. Do not wait to uh, gird up your loins. As the Lord says, do not delay, but make haste as it is the Lord's Passover from the very beginning, the Lord has made it clear that when the Lord appoints the hour, it should be done at that appointed time. Dear brother and sister, if there is anything causing delay, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. May you be set free from all delays and may the Lord place upon your hearts a conviction to come into the presence of the Lord where he makes all things new, where he takes the coal from the holy altars and touches our lips, where he breaks the hearts of stone and gives us a heart of flesh, where he puts his law and writes it in our hearts that he has become our God, our Father, and we have become his people, the sheep of his pasture and the flock under his care. And as we confess our sin before the Lord, may the blood of Jesus that washes us from all unrighteousness work in its power and work to completion. Amen and amen. We do believe that the Lord will put a new heart and renew a spirit of steadfastness within us, dear brothers and sisters. A spirit that will not stumble, a spirit that will not stutter and a spirit that will not be shaken. It is only by the power of the Spirit of God alive at work in us. It cannot be done by our power or our own might. May we receive this truth from the Lord today. Father God, we know that you do restore to us the joy of our salvation. And you give us, O oh Father, a willing spirit, a humble spirit, O oh Father, and a spirit that submits to you that we will be sustained by you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you do not cast us from your holy presence, O Father, that you have given us a time and an hour and a place and a chance, O Father, to confess our sins and to draw near before you, O Father. Take not, O Father, your Holy Spirit from us. Take not, O Father, your anointing from us, O Lord. May we not cause ourselves delay, O Lord. May we not put our own foots forward and become stumbling blocks Neither, O oh Father, should we become stumbling blocks to others. Father, we repent and we call upon the name, the only name that can save, the name of Jesus. Dear brother and sister, if you think that your sin is too great for the Lord to forgive, that you cannot enter into His holy presence, that the Lord has banished you, that the Lord has forsaken you, you are denying the power of the cross and emptying the cross of its power. May you be set free from this false mindset in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is waiting to restore to us the joy of our salvation. We have a lovely song called Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We worship your holy name, O Lord. Oh, how sweet and precious did your grace appear to us 
the hour we first believe dear brothers and sisters there might be many of us like the church of ephesus like the children of israel where our hearts have turned to stone and where the fires of the first love and to be restored as children through which we can call you abba father only you alone oh father god lord jesus holy spirit of the living god only you oh lord can save us and set us free and father god we believe oh lord for those who weep their time of comfort and joy is drawing near for those who go to the fields with tears they will come back rejoicing with their sheaves full in their hand and the glory of the lord rises upon us with healing upon its wings and we will go out leaping like calves in the stall and surely for those of us who endure to the end who have conquered by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony the sun will not strike them nor the heat scorch them nor pain be upon them and the lord will take away every tear from their eyes the lord is faithful to fulfill every word of his to us he is our comfort he is our help he is our strength he is our redeemer and in him we have unspeakable joy may the lord restore to us today and may the lord restore to us the joy of our salvation father reawaken our first love rekindle oh father the love that we had for you if any hearts have grown cold teach us a oh father to acknowledge our state before you and teach us a oh father to come to you show us your way oh father may we be rekindled to be the light of the world and a light to the nations grant us oh father god a willing spirit and sustain us oh father god take away oh lord everything that is not from you that is trying its best to convince us that it will sustain us so oh, father the pleasures of this world for money uh, wealth and great riches and uh, fame and fortune and power and authority and everything of oh, father of this world that cannot satisfy us father god we look to you for only you can satisfy the word of the lord says uh, speaking through the prophet jeremiah that the sin that the lord counts before his people is that they have built broken cisterns and poured the living waters of the lord into it the lord is waiting to give us a drink of his living water and we can have our fill without price may we put aside our broken cisterns may they be made new in the mighty name of jesus may the new wine that the lord gives to us be put into fresh wine skins in the spirit that we can receive the word of the lord not in its not to be corrupted by our own thinking or by the perverse ways of this world or the prince of this world not to be corrupted by the old mindset and not to uh, be thought of as only for this world where it might perish let us not be fools and be deceived but the word of the lord comes to us in spirit in truth and in life may it be put into new wine skins and may we enjoy it and receive it in its fullness in the spirit man he shall abarata kha labarata shall we look to the lord in prayer dear brothers and sisters he labaraya shall abarata kha labarata labarata la har barabara labarata la heavenly father we come before you today father we do believe oh father that the words that were spoken here minister oh father to us may the seeds that are sown today oh father be planted and may your holy spirit do the work of oh father of causing it to grow 